I've got something really, really special today. Something I've been waiting years for. A real robot arm. The info screw on six axis robot arm. And it's the real deal. No shaky RC servos, no laser cut parts, real brushless motors, carbon fiber, and anodized aluminum. Now, as you know, a lot of what I look at on this channel is related to automation. I look at a hopefully post-scarcity future where machines do all the work and we sit back and have a beer. A big thing holding that back has been the high cost of robots. And those robots cost so much because of the motors that drive them. A usable robot needs ro motors that are light, powerful, and have some sort of a way to provide feedback so the computer driving the robot knows the exact precision of which motor. There's a few ways to do this. We won't go over them all. The important part is the good ways on chip. And there is a shortage of the motors that do this well. Yep, you got it. A global robot motor shortage. Technically, a harmonic drive shortage. That's a sort of way to make a fast motor a strong motor. But there's a shortage. This means there have been a lot of failed or partially fulfilled crowdfunded robot arms in the last two years. Because electronic startups raise money, go to buy motors and no motors, or at least no motors cheap enough to fill their pre-orders. So when Infos contacted me and said they were launching a crowdfunding campaign for a robot arm, I said, ha 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 ha. No, you'll never find the motors for a low-cost actuator-driven robot. You can source them. Well, that's the thing they said. We are the source. We are actually an actuator company, not really an electronics company. We have the motors already. Mm, well, that's something interesting. Because as I said, those motors are a big bottleneck and they went and patented their own low-cost actuator. And everyone I spoke to said they were the real deal. Company info checks out. So cool, robot arms aside, low-cost actuators, game changer. So they sent me these two robot arms to test out. One for axis, one six axis. It comes with a little controller board that connects to Ethernet, a power supply, and an emergency off button to stop the robot uprising. I've been working them like this for the past week, but that's a bit messy and not good for a demo. So I'm going to neaten things up by cutting a mountain plate out of acrylic with my Maybrock laser box. <laughs> Body, 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 body
All right, that's much better. So the arm itself is absolutely beautiful. It's under a thousand dollars, depending what you buy on Kickstarter. The hardware is a phenomenal value. Infos is an established company, not a bunch of guys flying into Shenzhen with a dream. This is what they do. The arm is a finished product, ready to go. That's the hardware. The software is another issue, but we'll get to that in a moment. Let's take a look at the 4-axis arm. So I'm going to use Raspberry Pi to control it to give you a demo. You can download a Raspberry Pi image for the Guru on arm that's all ready to go. I have it in this nice little encoder I got with a built-in screen. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the Pi because it's a pain to capture screen video on it and run the arm at the same time. Better to do that on my ThinkPad. So I've got all the files, it's ready to go. Let's go to Ubuntu Home and find this file called Robot Controller gl 4 l 3 You open it and right click the mouse, go open in terminal. First type environment tab goes into tutorials right now it's moving because uh, this couple of motion is pre-programmed there are four modes if I want to click out I will I can control C Back in. Okay, that was the first motion. Let's type in number two. This is number three. Number four. Oh, wow, this has a bigger motion, right? If I go in mode one, this one is very different. So, this one you can record by say put program and if that's done control c and it saved the file as a data test now if we want to run that go back to our command line and go to two That's what I was doing. You see? It, it's repeating my uh, what I uh, record. So I recorded it. It can go into a cycle or it can go in continuously. And I can show you how I do it in my ThinkPad. So this is doing continuously. Right? Okay, let's stop it. So uh, now we click out of the. Uh, so this is my little demo on the Raspberry Pi. Now let's switch to the ThinkPad to control the six axes. First, I 3D print a little scoop and some handles to make things easier. It's not required, but that's the great thing about the Gruon. It's incredibly hackable and upgradable. And that makes more sense than buying a bunch of parts you might never use in your application. Let's put those on first.
So right now we are in the robot arm file that I created and let's click robot controller GL6L3. You can download all these files on their website. It's all there. They've updated all the files. And this is one of them on GitHub and click right mouse open in terminal. Right, right, right now the robot arm is not in position. Let's calibrate it. Environment tab. Tab. Robot server. Okay, let me hold the arm. All straight up. Straight up. You don't have to do it every time as long as you collaborate control C to exist okay now we have successfully set the home position I'm afraid that later it will fall off so I am going to set the gravity first set robot G capital letter on so right now this part this axis is fixed so they won't fall off and use the up arrow robot server mo free start recording insert m o v j m o v l m o v c o stop okay What I'm gonna do is put the arm down to the right position like this, just outside of the tower of Hanoi, and type in M O V J. Okay, the second point I'm going to insert the arm into the. Ooh, 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 ooh. And type M O V J in capital letter again. It's not actually solving the Tower of Hanoi puzzles, but it's a good practice for the little robot arm. Now I'm talking to Infos people every day. I don't have a business relationship with them, but I think this is really interesting and I want to stay involved. They are working on more user-friendly software. I've seen the alpha versions. 
That being said, software is never a strong point in China. It's not that the current software is bad, it's great, it's professional, but professional isn't necessarily classroom friendly. I'm comfortable with the Linux command line and it took me a while to get up to speed. It's doable, but it's certainly a step beyond 3D printing. I anticipate they will be able to ship with more consumer-friendly software. But my advice to only back the arm if you are willing to tackle the software learning curve that I just showed you. If you have more questions, want a more technical overview of the arm, head on over to Scientific. He does a great job of that and takes an in-depth look at how a lot of specs pan out in the real world. My job is as always testing real world usability. You all know I care mostly if it actually works. In closing, I think it's a great value, but be, be prepared for a steep learning curve if the software is not ready on time. Overall, two thumbs up and you will be seeing me use the glue on arm for some upcoming videos. That's it for today. Remember, you two likes to unsubscribe and turn off notifications. So show them who's boss and set that right. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.